Hi, my name is Paul Fai, and today I would like to show you a new sample set, which is the uh, Rigo organ from the concert house in Wien. And I've actually gotten a pre-release key for this demonstration, and I'm really thankful for it. And uh, let's see what it has to offer. If you open the software, you will be greeted by a welcome window. Not in this case, because I've already set it up, but um, it will basically ask you if you'd like to play directly or if you would like to set up your organ. Uh, as you can see, I've got two manuals and a pedal board. And um, the concert house organ actually has four manuals and a pedal board. And um, yeah, to set it up, uh, you basically uh, will be led to the menu which uh, will show you the channels you can assign. And as you can see, I've got two manuals coupled to one. Also, this is my um, Hauptwerk in Positive, and the Schwellwerk and Solowerk will be on my second manual. And the pedal board is down here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now this setup is done, and we can start playing. Let's have a look. Um, we basically have uh, the four manuals, as I've said, the Hauptwerk, Positiv, Schwellwerk, Solowerk and Pedalwerk, which are separate from each other. And each uh, manual has its own sounds, its own unique sounds. And uh, yeah, you can see them by the uh, timbre option here, which basically tries to replicate the uh, sound color of the stop you will be playing. And this helps you to see which ones could fit together or which ones could not. And um, yeah, let's have a look into that. The um, principles marked in blue, as you can see here, uh, blue, um, are the the basic sounds of the organ really strong and round and you can hear that and you can basically couple every blue category you can hear the uh, markings here with the numbers are foot numbers eight foot basically means that it's our normal octave like this Four foot is an octave higher, which sounds like this. And uh, the super octave is another octave higher. And the special thing about the organ is that you can couple them together. And you've got this really iconic organ sound. That's the principles. Um, you've also got some flutes here, a lot actually, <laughs> which are marked green. Um, same system applies. The foot numbers um, basically mean which uh, octave it will sound to. And as you can see, the Gedacht 8 Fuß or 8 foot is the normal octave we know from the piano, for example. Or you have another flute which is a bit brighter. And yeah, four foot flute, which will sound pretty awesome. Yeah, that's the flutes. And uh, then there are strings. Well, not strings, it's still pipes, but um, it's tries to replicate the strings, which is the Gems one, for example. Or a much uh, quieter version of that. Sounds a bit narrow as well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, viola. You can couple all these together, same family. Mm -hmm. 
You could also couple uh, it with the uh, flutes, for example, but that's more experimental, I guess. Um, and we've got a last group of sounds, which is the reed sounds, which are one of my favorite sounds, actually. Um, that's a trumpet and um, the really strong uh, ground voices you know from the organ, which can sound like this. You can couple them together, 16 foot, 8 foot and 4 foot. And the most exciting thing probably is the reeds in the pedal because the pedal um, has an octave deeper than the normal voices in the uh, manuals, as you can see. The most voices here have eight foot grounding and in the pedal it starts with a 16 foot, which is pretty deep. And that's the special thing about the organ. And if you take the reed, for example, and this octave lower, it won't sound that great. But I promise you, in uh, combination with the other voices, it will sound pretty great. You will hear that later. <laughs> yeah. And um, we've got another a family of sounds, which is the mixtures and mutations. Um, mixture, as you can see, sounds like this. pretty weird alone. The thing is that you have to couple these with um, the other voices. Uh, the principles, for example, uh, eight foot, uh, and four foot and two foot, and it will sound a lot uh, more grounded down to earth, basically. In comparison, the mixture alone. And with the other voices. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> and yeah, you can basically combine everything here and find out what you like. I will uh, show you some of my favorite registrations on this organ. The registrations are these here. Um, you can uh, save them and load them like you see here, Riga Power. <laughs> um, you can load them here, save them here, and um, yeah, let's have a listen to them. That's probably the normal organ sound you know from church. If you want it to be a bit thicker and more powerful, you can add reeds to it. It sounds a lot more uh, powerful. You could also uh, try to have a solo voice on one manual and uh, an accompaniment on the second one, which can sound like this. The cornet, for example, beautiful voice. You can also have the most quiet voices of the organ, which are basically the flutes and the strings, but we will hear the flutes first, which sound like this and a mutation on top of it. Let's 
sounds pretty peaceful. You could also add the chats. Sounds a bit more um, you will hear. And uh, one of the most quiet voices, as you can see with these um, voicing indications, this is basically the loudness of the single voice. Uh, one of the most quiet voices is the watchlist and the Irene, which can sound like this. Also, add a flute as a solo on the first menu. If you like it a bit louder, you could always use the loudest stop of the organ, which is the tuba mirabilis, which is a really strong reed, um, which sounds like this. You could combine it with a plenum, which is um, eight foot, four foot, and two foot, and mixture on the uh, first menu, which can sound like this. Usable. Yeah, and we've basically covered everything, I hope. Um, now, in the end, you can hear um, the tutti of the organ, which is all stops together, which can sound together. And um, you will hear this one as well. Maybe it sounds better this time. <laughs> sounds. Um, if you would like to try this set out, you could um, go to the link down below in the video description and uh, get your 30 day trial it is, I think. Um, it's completely free, but you need this key to activate the software, which is like 10 euros, 15 dollars, I think. Um, yeah, and you will have a 30-day trial period and uh, yeah you can make up your mind if you'd like to buy it or not and um, yeah thank you for watching and um, see you next time bye